everybody, it's your boy RGB here. I'm back with a, another instructional video about Crossout, um, particularly about Clan Wars. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, my first video was about Leviathans. Today I'm going to be talking about normal, normal Clan Wars. Okay. Um, this video is aimed at people that have been playing for a few months. Um, you're enjoying the game, you love PvP, you, you really like the game, you want to sink some time into it. You want to take the next step into Clan Wars, which is competitive um 4v4 with your mates you know with your friends your team um for position maybe some of that sweet stuff uranium the expensive stuff that's kind of what the aim is to start with getting into clan wars all right um i'm going to recommend a few builds a few cheap ones all right all the builds i'm going to recommend today um they have one key item which is very very important in my opinion um is the apollo the apollo generator all right um it's my opinion that this is the first item that you want to grind out if you are looking to get into clan wars all right i'll bring it up quickly just so everybody is completely aware and here it is okay um it's an expensive item all right it always has been it probably always will be unless they bring something better out all right, but this is the four point generator um, that gives you the max amount of energy for your clan walls builds. All right, the, the reason this one is, is so much better than the others is maximum points, um, durability, the way it goes into builds, so it's a nice shape. Um, you can connect things to it in many places. Um, it is slightly larger. I'm going to compare it to the gas generator. Um, it's slightly larger than the gas generator, but this will not go boom boom like your gas generator will do with particularly fire. All right. Um, so for me, you need to be getting this as soon as this should be your first item that you get going towards your clan world's build. Okay, how to get it? Um, it is in Dawn's Children faction. Okay, and it's down here at the bottom. Um, if you want to craft it, you have to level up either lunatics, nomads, or scavengers to level ten. That will unlock um, Dawn's Children if you choose it. I would choose it. Um, and then you have to level up Dawn's Children to, I think it's level 12. It was level 12 when I did it. Um, it. That may have changed. It might have reduced it. You know, all you need to do is go to your faction on Dawn's Children, scroll down here to the legendary section, and it will tell you what level you need to be in Dawn's Children to get it. Okay? Um, that's the first item that you need for Clan Wars. Second one is... Uh, it does, this doesn't necessarily have to be you, but your team of four should have at least one Doppler in the builds. Okay. Um, reason being, situational awareness, you know, team movement, communication, are, are big things in in winning clan wars. All right, and and that's that's what I like about it personally. Um, I think you'll like it too. You know, compared to your normal carnage of PvP, where you're just you know going in just you, doing whatever, just having having a fight, having a fun. Um, the other side of this is communication playing as a team uh for you and three other friends against four other people okay um so doppler is going to give you that ability on the mini map and on the main map of spotting enemies tracking them moving with your team communicating planning all right um it will also save you um if you've got good map awareness you're going to be better at clan walls simple as that all right so for me that's your second item that you need all right next one would be a chameleon okay you shouldn't be playing clan wars without a chameleon in your arsenal now not all builds need them but 90 90 percent of them do need a chameleon okay and i would go for the mark ii um obviously it's better than the mark one the reason being it's you get 10 seconds of cloak instead of six now that's a big difference particularly with the builds that we're going to be talking about today all right so you need that um the the builds that i'm going to recommend for people to start with clan wars are dog builds all right reason being they're cheap all right they're fairly easy to use um you don't require too much uh, map awareness and communication you know you can you can start start with this and then as you get better, you know, more comfortable with Clan Wars, you and your friends, you can build up to more advanced builds if you like, or, or you might want to keep playing this, whatever, that's up to you. I'm going to recommend dog builds to start with. I don't play dog anymore. I used to. I started with dog builds. Um, I prefer hover builds, hover range personally, but that's, you know, that's me. I've been playing a long, long time. Um, so I would recommend starting here. 
we'll go through a few. Um, we'll start with cheapest. All right. The first one I'm going to recommend is going to be a remedy dog. Uh, I've pre-liked a few builds in here. We'll we'll talk about them all. All right. Um, we'll start with this. So this for me, if money is an issue, you know, you don't have that many coins. Um, this is what I would start with. All right. Um, and this is a treble remedy with a blight cabin and a skinner. <clears throat> okay. Um, treble remedies, they're pretty cheap. They're in packs. All right. They're very effective. The reason they're very effective is the blight cabin perk makes these do a lot of damage. All right. Particularly if you've got three of these on your build. Um, the skinner is there to you know catch catch other builds stop them getting away from you because you're a dog you want to be close and in people's face you don't want them getting away from you you know you don't want a slippery little scorpion hover getting away from you and taking all your wheels off so here it is in action all right you charge the blight cabin the ability i've got it on left click so it just automatically starts as soon as it um it's finished charging i've got it on left click here it will automatically activate as long as you're pressing the left click and it'll start doing lots of damage. And the fire will turn green. It's really cool. All right. There's a couple of bits to talk about on here. Um, whilst we're here. So this has got a cheater engine and a Bigfoot. Okay. So if you're running a dog, um, Bigfoots and cheater engine are a must for me. Um, reason being, if you read the perk of the Bigfoot. Okay. It says, reduces the distance required for bonus activation by up to 50%. Okay. Now, what this is doing is it is um, reducing the activation time cooldown of your modules, all right, when you're driving. Now, if you pair this with a cheetah, okay, um, this is saying, you know, every 100 meters that you drive, your cooldowns of your modules, it says drones and turrets, we're not bothered about them today, are, are reduced by 15%, all right, and then the Bigfoots. Are going to half that as well so it's going to go down to 50 meters all right what's that doing what that basically what that is doing is it is giving you your cloak back quicker so if you engage on somebody um and it doesn't quite go to plan all right and you decide to pull out you're like no no i'm not this hasn't worked you know whatever you were trying to do hasn't worked you're going to pull out all right turn around we're not attacking this anymore right what i'm going to do is i'm going to get back to my teammates nice and safe I'm going to charge my cloak, and we're going to go again. Your cloak and your Bigfoots are going to make that happen for you much, much quicker. So you can get straight back in the fight again, and maybe surprise them. Alright, so, must for me. That's your cheapest build. Um, after that, okay, if you've got a bit more money, all right, I would then go for a Retro Dog. Um, I've chosen this one. Um, it, looks, it looks pretty decent. There may be slightly better builds out there, but this is a nice little frame for you to, to you know to start with. Um, this is a Nova cabin. Uh, you don't have to use the Nova cabin. Don't worry about this. This one just has one. All right, but the premise is there. It's two wretches in a dog. It's got a roof. Uh, the roof's there for get again for catching hovers. All right, this is going to do plenty of damage. That's step two. Um, step three, and even better. I would go for a what we call a hybrid. Okay, the reason it's hybrid is it's lances, um, it's spark, it's harvester, so it's a bit of both. Okay, there's a few bits to talk about on this, but what this is going to do is you're going to sneak up on somebody, and you're going to delete them. Basically, the lances are going to go through, they're going to explode, they're going to kill, you know, or cripple a hover build like that. Okay, I don't actually have my cloak on. Just bear with me a sec. <laughs> well, well, damn it. <laughs> I use custom controls. So uh, my scope is on right click, which means that I lose the weapon group too for my scorpions. I, I, don't, I don't need it. Um, but when I'm doing things like this, it becomes a problem. <laughs> so we'll, we'll demonstrate again. Okay, so what's good about this build? All right. Now this can be used, in my opinion, for any, you know, Low tier clan wars league points, higher tier clan wars league points. So if you do go for this, if you get good at it, you can play this to a very high standard. If you get good at it and you play with a good, you know, another lots of lots of good teammates in your team, you can play this to a high standard. All right, 
the other two I've mentioned, you know, they're gonna they're gonna start running out of power um, as soon as you start fighting, uh, you know, relic teams with with full relics. Right? That's they're gonna struggle. This will go very high as long as you're good at it. Right? The reason being, um, the ability to sneak up on somebody and just I mean I've, I've deleted him there. Even though he's not dead, he's gone. That's that's my build, by the way. Um, to just cripple somebody and take them out of the game is so big. You know, in the in the higher tiers of the game, the chances of, of killing somebody are very small because people are experienced. You know, they know what they're doing. They've got good map awareness. You're not going to get a lot of chances to uh, to kill people. All right, so something like this, one little mistake like that, and, and that person's out. All right, um, and then you can follow it up. You're still effective once you've used the lances. You can push people around. You can harvest some people. You can spark them if you've got a flash even better um, but the spark just slows down people stops them getting away you can keep helping your teammates whilst whilst driving around and harvesting and being an absolute pain all right so a couple of bits to talk about with this first being the griffin cabin so i hate this thing since they brought this into the game i hate it all right the reason i hate it is because i play hover scorpions um this thing is so difficult to detect, to track on the map, and to avoid. All right, if you lose concentration um, for a little bit of time, a build like this can come along and, and wipe you out. Okay, and the reason being, we'll we'll read the perk. All right, it says when activated, player and three closest allies are invisible on the radar, and you become immune to the effects of Oculus and Verifier for 11 seconds. Okay, so what does that mean? Basically, on the mini map, down in the bottom right. And I activate this perk. Now I haven't cloaked. I am no longer visible on the minimap by Doppler. All right, you see the blue circle around the minimap in the bottom right. Okay, um, until that runs out, and that's run out now. All right, nobody can see what I'm doing. All right, so I can reposition on the map, and the other team, unless they can see me, right, are not aware what I am doing. Once you've used that, you can then cloak. All right. So unless the other team now have a verifier, they still can't see you on the mini map. All right. So you can, you know, completely remaneuver yourself from one end of the map to the other by using those two abilities. A big mistake that people use, um, well, but a big mistake that people do with this build is using them both together. Okay, that's wrong. You don't do that. All right, use them one at a time. And you start with. The Griffin. I'll, I'll demonstrate how far you can get with this. We'll start at one end of the map, <clears throat> and we'll we'll see how far we can get by using this. So I'm circling. I'm looking at my mini map. Right. I've made, I've picked a target, and I'm going to go for it. So I start with my Griffin perk. Off we go. Da 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 da. Traveling along. Nobody can see me. Nobody can see me. Blah 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 blah. Watching it. Timing it. Close to the end. And there it goes. I now use the Griffin. So unless they have a verifier, they still cannot see me. If they have a verifier, they can see you now. Or an Oculus. Alright? They can see you. But not everybody's running these. So again, I got from one end of the map to the other and round again. So if there was a target for me to kill that was here, I could have got behind him and taken him out. That's why this build is so good and so difficult to deal with. <laughs> if you're in a ranged fight with somebody else, and this one, you lose concentration, this thing will mess you up. All right, so if you can go for this, go for it. It's a lot of fun as well. Like if you if you are going to play this, it's so satisfying when it goes well. But you can go from hero to zero very quickly. If you go for somebody and it doesn't go right and you die, uh, you, you become the the, uh, the zero very quickly. All right, um, we'll talk about this as well. Some of you may not may or may not be familiar with the rift. Um, this will be on all the builds, all the better builds. All right. Reason being, once you've used your lances, okay, you've got six points of lances on the front. Once you've used them, all right, you don't need your Apollo anymore, all right? Your, your Apollo after that is just an explosive item in your build that can be destroyed. Okay, the Rift is a module that you can blow up and disconnect items from your build. So if you've seen these and you're wondering what it was all about, here's what it is so it's, it's one on mine so i'm going to press that there it goes that has removed my apollo because i don't need it anymore 
I don't need the points. And that's going to stop you getting what we call popped. So Apollo gone, you built it bits. I mean, if you built it correctly, it's it's not it's not going to destroy you anyways. But there you go. That's what that's all about. That's the rift. Use that as you like. Okay. So there's a few dog builds for you. I've got what have I got here. I've got another I've got another retcher build here. All right. This is Harpy Retcher with a verifier. All right. The verifier is going to help you if you if you're chasing down a hover build and he cloaks. And he's trying to get away from you. Your verifier is going to help you, you know, stop that. It's going to bring him out of cloak, and you're going to be able to get back onto him fairly quickly. Okay. Um, right. So you're thinking, I don't want to play dog, Haji. I want to. I want to try some hovers. You got any? You got any cheap hover builds for me? I got you. Okay. Now this was. So I transferred from Xbox to PC, and I started again from scratch on the PC. Now this was the first build that I used in Clan Wars. Um, in my PC career. Okay, and this is Harpy Wellwind on a hover. All right, very, very cheap. All right, if you can be good with, with hovers, I recommend this is a, is a must for, you know, for cheap clan wars. Um, reason being, nice range damage. Not everybody's gonna have this in the lower tiers, you know, in the tin and rust zones of clan wars. Um, you're gonna surprise a few players with this. It is an old build. I've not seen it around for a while. I think it's still very effective. All right, paired with the harpy, um, the explosive damage of the uh, of the auto cannons. Great, you keep firing, doing damage over time, bringing people out of cloak. There's there's a lot of plus points to this build. All right, what have we got? Harpy, not too expensive. Um, fire starters, I'd, I'd just buy it. Four hovers, radiator, three whirlwinds. Pretty cheap build. Not many parts. Um, the main problem being, if, you get, if you're going to get dogged, you know, you're going to die pretty quickly. If you can play hovers effectively and you've got good map awareness, um, go for it. Next um, is uh, we're going to look at a Clan Wars video. All right. Um, this is straight off my Twitch from one week in September. It's normal Clan Wars. Um, we're going to analyze it. We'll talk about a few points, what, what we did well, what we did wrong. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go. I've muted the video. So... You can hear me speak. Um, I'll put the video in at the end um, without me talking over it. Okay, so you can watch it from start to finish with all the sound and you can hear what we're talking about. Okay, um, I, I remember the game, um, so I know what was happening and I know, you know, what we did, what we did well, what we did wrong. We'll talk about it. Okay, so I've started with Hover Scorpions. The other team, uh, let's go look at the other team. I've skipped past that already. So here we go. We're looking at the other team. What they got? They got two scorpions, um, heathers, and a hybrid. I'm sorry, my text is the the over the chat overlay from the stream is uh, blocking it, but that is a hybrid with fused flash um, lances and a harvester. The build that we just talked about um, that I say is very very dangerous, and it is. All right. Now it didn't turn out to be too dangerous in this one, but hey, whatever. All right. So. Nice mix, three range and one hybrid. That's quite a common setup. Um, it's a good, it's a good mix. All right. Um, off we go. We'll skip ahead here. We'll get to top of the start of the fighting. So I'm going to go up to this hill. All right. Um, I am looking for the hybrid because I am terrified. Um, you'll hear me talking about it in the uh, in the audio. Heavens on the left. Scorpion is here. Okay. So. Scorpion is here. My teammates are here. Um, we can only see three of their enemy right now. All right. I know we've pinged on the map where where they are. All right. You can see Sasquatch just pinged that. All right. Really, really important stuff. Pinging for your teammates, giving out useful information. Very, very important. All right. So we've got other Scorpion here, two over here. It's the Heather and another Scorpion. We don't know where the hybrid is. So I'm terrified. All right. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to start distracting this scorpion, okay, for for my doggies to get in, all right? So, Mr. Kung Shu, our resident doggy, has done the right thing, all right? What he's done is he started here, and what he's looking to do is get behind this scorpion. So, he's looking to go around the map, come up behind him, and then push him towards us, all right? Now, getting behind and pushing towards is very, very important. So, if he just you know, noob dogs and drive straight at him and hits him in the face. He's at the top of the hill. He's going to push him down the hill 
and he's going to be fighting him down here where none of us can see him or help him behind this hill. All right. So that's that's really basic dogging. It's it's not what you really want to do. It's going to get you killed more times than you know you're gonna you're gonna take something for your team. All right. So off he goes. I see him on the radar. Off he goes. There he is. He's going behind him and he's going to look to push him behind. You know, push him towards us. Good play from him. Really pleased to see that. Now I make a mistake here, and we'll talk about it in a sec. So I see that and I start pushing. All right. I didn't really help him there. You, you've got to think about this as a game of chess, all right? The players that you're playing against, they're going to react to what you do, right? I started pushing there. I pushed too early. What I should have done was I should have held back, um, and that would have kept the Hover Scorpion on top of the hill. Um, so, sorry, Mr. Kung Shu. Uh, that was my bad, all right? And what's happened is it's ended up in a bit of a... A mess because the scorpion seen me pushing he's dropped down to get away from me and then kung shu could not get on him because of these cliffs and this has resulted in him you know in an absolute mess in the acid lake okay so i've done my best to do some damage to try and take out that scorpion um hopefully he's crippled enough now what's happening here is i'm looking for the hybrid all right because he's cloaked i don't know where he is i know where the other three are no idea where the hybrid is sasquatch calls him out for me Okay, so I look on the radar, I spot him, I cap can, I drop down. Again, another great example of team communication, radar awareness. All right, that thing's going to kill me if I, you know, if I slip up and miss him. All right, we take him out quite easily. Good comms. Nice. Now, what I'm doing here is I am asking the guys to move on to the base because we've got we've got two left. All right, I know the guys have been fighting the hurt. I don't know their exact condition. They might be, you know, they're not full builds. They could be half battered. They could be pretty full. I don't know. So I've asked them to move on to their base. What that's going to do is that's going to put the pressure on the other two. They now can't sit back. They have to come to us. All right. So that puts the pressure on. He starts firing at the two on the base. I clope up, take out the heather. I got a lucky shot. I popped him, you know, destroyed him in one shot. Scorpion then comes on me. Sasquatch comes out, helps me out, finishes off the kill. All right. Um, the positioning is is really really important. You need to be able to to put yourself in a position. It's like with with leverage. You know, we're three three up against two, so you can win Clan Wars by either a capping the base or B, having more players. So I'm talking about if you don't kill everybody, we're going to the end of the game. You can win by having more players. Right. But the priority is base cap. So if one team has one point, you don't have to cap the base all the way. If you've got one point, right, that takes priority for the win is the base cap. Right. So if you've got one point, it doesn't matter how many players they've got. If you've got one point and they've got no points capping on the base, that takes priority for the win. And then it goes down to numbers of players. So you need to know that in order to, to make good decisions. OK, so. That was why I was asking for, at this point, back here, where were we? Do it, we'll quickly go through it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so here. Okay, it's 3v2. We do have the, um, without the base, it's 3v2. If time runs out, we're going to win because we've got three left and they've only got two left. But put the added pressure on of the base cap. All right, so that's what we're doing here. The two boys are doing it. I'm then using that to cloak take out the heather i killed him there i didn't even realize so i go in for another shot and then when i zoom in i realize he's dead okay the scorpion was then getting you know because of that base cap he was getting into a position where he could shoot at the two on the base see if he could capitalize on that so that's why i went all right um like i said i'll put this video in completely unedited without me talking over it at the end of the video have a watch see what you think um i think it's a nice example of you know some good stuff and some bad stuff all right. Um, I'll catch you again in another video. And if you want to see more, come onto my Twitch and, and watch us live. Come and chat with me. Um, see you later. Millers. That's what I'm trying to say. Heather, Heather. Heather. two scorps. Shit. Heather, two scorps and okay. Heather. Kill kill a scorp. And we'll, uh, I'll dodge the hybrid and the Heathers and we'll fuck them up. And I'll get Heathered. Yeah. 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 And Sasquatch will get Heathered yeah. and this will be great. Yeah. Nice. So yes, we yes, yes. Into the water. 
I have a big mark on you. Mm, is this hybrid gonna smack me in the face straight away? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Just watch him just fly over the fucking yeah, line. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't know, because you're the Doppler. I'm quite, like... That's no, scared. No, no. I feel so that's no. a scorp. That's a scorp. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Right, let's push then. Let's push. Boys, 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 let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, push, go. I'm, I'm pushing. I'm gonna push him down. Come shoot. He'll come down. Uh, it's too late for me. Hybrid's there. Oh, I have a problem. Push on to base. No, he's in the university. Don't shoot. Yeah, yeah. Mm, where's this hybrid? I'm scared of where this hybrid is. Well, I have nothing. Don't know where he is. We going to base, boys. Oh, okay. Um, no, we're fighting in uh, over the water. Okay. One behind you. Yeah, thank you. Jump down, jump down, He's jump down. Up. Yeah. Got him cap canned. Ah, uh, I could have catched him. He's flipped. No, he ain't. Got his wheels. Trying to fight the scorp, but I need you to get safe. Yeah, I'm safe. In the base. Hmm. I'll think about it. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I need you in here. Oh, one's got dead. I'm coming. Drives, oh. I'm dead. One yeah, dead. I need you to be in the base so I can start hammering. And get hithered. Nah, you'll be okay. You okay. can drive around, it's okay. It's okay, I'm on, I'm on the heathers. You're it's alone, you know that, right? The heathers are dead. Uh, it's okay, it's worth it, boys, that, yes? Somewhere. Even if I do die, yes, you boys are capping. Oh, Sasquatch has come to help me, save me. Very good. I did. I saved nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I mean. You just need that pull to, to, you know, get them to lose their focus. Good job. I nuggeted the uh, Heather in one shot. Yeah.